Hello everybody, welcome. Hey, good to be back with you. Um, yeah, back here in Pennsylvania and uh, it feels like summer has arrived. <laughs> well, it's a certainly a nice day today anyway. Um, yeah, I've been away a lot just for the last, this last month, I've been away doing teaching in, um, in Tucson, Arizona. So a big hello to all you guys down there, the Southern Arizona Clay Artists and Romero House. And, and then we went on to um, San Francisco and did a bit of traveling around um, in California. Um, going to a few old haunts that my brother Johnny went to when he was over in 1963. My brother came over here and, um, and helped a potter in Mendocino. So, uh, hello to Mendocino. <laughs> and um, what else? Yes, we, yeah, we went and saw giant redwood trees and um, we went to, yeah, all along that coastline up there on the north of San Francisco, going up north, up Fort Bragg, up that way. So that uh, was really good. Enjoyed that. That was beautiful weather. And, um, and then, uh, yeah, and then I went down to, um, to do a, a day's teaching down at Walnut Creek. So a big hello to all those at Walnut Creek. But I'm wearing their t-shirt. The Walnut Creek uh, Clay Arts Guild. <laughs> Pete Cusillis and all those there. We had a great time. And um, so, and then after that, we went on to. Uh, had a day at Yosemite National Park, and that was absolutely, absolutely mind-blowing. Uh, most beautiful place, you know, fantastic. Just absolutely, just one of those places, I suppose, you know, sometimes when you see something, you know, pictures, and you sort of think, yeah, well, that looks really nice. But, you know, I wonder if it'll be as nice as that when, we, when you get there and see it in real life. And, uh, you know, it was like, exceeded exceeded one's ex expectation so um yeah so i've been doing a lot of traveling around and we've been, been on something like 10 airplanes in the last three weeks you know so i'm kind of tired of tired of airports <laughs> anyway back here now and uh, i wanted to uh yeah, I wanted to show you my new book that is now out. And I know you've heard me probably talk about this at odd moments. And, um, and finally now, here it is, after a few years, uh, Bruce Dainhurt and myself working on this book, um, him doing most of the writing work and some of the photography, um, and sort of loosely based, ba well, not loosely based on me, really, you know, and uh, my YouTube videos, <laughs> what we're doing right now. <laughs> anyway, um, I, I hope that you'll find it a very uh, a, an instructional handbook, as it, it is called Simon Leach's Pottery Handbook, and uh, I hope you'll find it that it is just that it is a handbook. Yeah, and I asked myself, well, what is a handbook? A handbook is a book that you, you feel like you can, you have it to hand, don't you? You have it when you, when you want it, you can pick it up, you thumb through it, you look at it. How does he, how does he, what does he say about this? How do you do that? How do you, and you know, it's full of, it's full of uh, good, good photography and um, lots of very practical photographs, how to make things, different little projects. Um, it shows, you know, stage by stage, tips along the way. It's really everything that I've been doing, I suppose, in my videos, 
except in a kind of book format, you know. Uh, obviously, being a different medium, it is different, you know, without, without doubt. But um, you'll see here me talking about a lot of the same things that I refer to in my video clips. So there should be some continuity there. Um, it, it also, I mean, it covers a lot of things more than I'm going to go into now talking about it, but, you know, lids, appendages, handling, assembling, uh, how to put a knob on a lid, and pulling handles, um, decorating and glazing, recipes, decorative treatments, um, on gobes, oh, there's a lot of stuff here, kilns and, and firing, ha, ah, there's my kiln. <laughs> So, I think it's a pretty good book, you know, I mean, it, in all honesty, I think you're going to find it a useful, a useful, you know, for what it costs, you know, you can't really be, do without it, I don't think, you know, it's, uh, in, fact, in fact, the other day I was asking myself about something or other and I thought, oh, hang on, I'll just go and look in my book. <laughs> And there it was. So, you know, I mean, it's, it's got like video call-out references, you know, to certain videos that you can go check things out. How to make a kiln, how to convert a kiln. Um, look, a bit of technical information here. Uh, Bruce helped me a lot with that. Not being, I'm not that I'm the, see, you see, I'm not the greatest technical person, really. I... I'm very practical and hands-on, but there's a lot of the, a lot of the technical stuff that I don't, I, 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 I don't know as, as uh, you know, I, I do know it, but I, I've, I've learned, I've learned what I know through, sort of rule of thumb experience, you know, try this, a bit of this, a bit of that, you know, but so, so Bruce, you see, who, he went to Alfred, Alfred University, so you know that's where you know he was very useful, and. Um, so, there it is. There's a couple of DVDs actually that go with it. One on the back cover you'll find, and there's one on the front cover. So, yeah, I recommend it to you. And um, another nice thing about the book you will notice is that it has a spiral bound built into the so that you can open this book, you can take it in your studio, and you can open it flat, very easily like that, you see, without fear of breaking the, the back of the book. You see? Nice, isn't it? The way, the way that it, it opens like that is just, uh, it makes it such a practical book, doesn't it? Because so many books, you know, you can't really open them out properly, because, you know, but this one you can open it out, Leave it on the side, leave it on the bench there, and you can, you can, you know, you can see the page without having to sort of keep holding it open. Anyway, there it is. Um, available through all good reputable shops <laughs> and websites. All right. Anyway. That's that. Um, yeah, I'm just you know, getting back into doing some throwing here on my old kick wheel. <laughs> because having been away from the kick wheel, I've been using lots of different electrical wheels in different places. And now I'm back home again on my own kick wheel. And uh, it's nice to be back on the quiet, rhythmical action of the, of the treadle wheel. 
Okay, folks, I'll catch you in the next clip. Hey, keep practicing. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.